Hi friends, I'm Louise. Welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm showing you my daily sketching and watercolor practice routine. Now this is something that I've done for months now and it has really made a difference for finding my style and improving my skills. So I love having a daily training regimen because it makes sure that I'm not just creating paintings but also constantly improving and exploring and you know trying out different techniques and, and maybe taking risks that I don't feel like doing when I'm going to make a painting. And also it's just relaxing and playful. Now I am a watercolor artist and I paint mostly birds and wildlife. So what's important to me is being able to quickly and accurately capture the personality of the animals that I'm portraying. And I care less about realism and more about the mood and the emotion. So my daily routine consists of quick pencil sketching from photos and videos. And that's to practice getting the scale and proportions right. And also sketching with watercolors directly to practice color combinations and watercolor technique and trying out different ways to capture what I'm seeing. So these are the key skills that I have identified for myself and that I want to keep improving on. Your needs might look very different depending on what your goals are and the medium you work in and so on. So this is just to give you some ideas for what a daily practice routine might look like. So let's get into it. I'm gonna pull up my sketchbook and my tools and get into the first part of my routine, which is drawing from photo references. Here we are at my Pinterest profile, which is my go-to for photo and art references and general inspiration. I'll put the link to my Pinterest page in the description if you want to check it out. So what I usually do is just go to one of my animal boards and just pull up any photo that inspires me. And today it was a meerkat. <laughs> I mean, how could you not be inspired by this photo? And then I get sketching. Starting with the day's date, because I always want to be able to go back and track my progress. I'm really fast and sloppy when I draw. I don't care much about details or shading. What I want to practice is quickly assessing the scale and the placement on the page, which is my big Achilles heel, and to get the proportions right. So this is not actually pencil art practice per se. This is to practice for the sketches I use underneath my paintings. And I usually focus on the face of the animal because that's where a lot of the personality is. Then I move over to sketching from life or in this case from video because I'm lazy and <laughs> I don't always have access to wild animals willing to pose for my drawings. Luckily there's plenty of animal footage on places like YouTube, so I have a lot of videos like this one saved for this exact purpose. And here we go. So pause when I see a pose that I like. Do a quick sketch. Unpause and wait for the next pose. Sketch that one. And so on and so forth. I mean, if you're really hardcore, you could just watch the video and sketch in real time. 
I have tried that a few times and it can work well for other animals, but for birds, I mean, they're usually not still for even a second. So yes, I'm cheating with this one. quick tip for capturing gesture is to go as fast as you can. It, it sort of tricks your brain into simplifying what it sees. And also to slightly exaggerate what you're seeing because it often gets the point across better. That's it for the drawing practice. So for my watercolor practice, I like to warm up with some loose sketches in a smaller scale. And these are A5 sized, and that's about six times eight inches. And they come from a little mixed media sketchbook that I have. And the paper is thinner than my usual watercolor paper, which kind of forces me to be really minimalistic with my brush strokes. I can't use too much water. And I do these the same way that I do my pencil sketches. I just pick out some photos that I like and I just paint it straight up and down. So this is to practice planning my moves like chess and painting with really light and confident brush strokes. And most of all, to not overwork the painting, which is so hard with watercolors. But with paper this thin, there's, there really isn't room for a lot of dabbling and layering and fixing mistakes. I love it. It's great practice. So the final part of my daily practice is, well, making art, doing paintings, working on a collection, creating finished work, which is a lot easier when I'm warmed up. I can't tell you how many paintings I've messed up because of a sloppy sketch or heavy handed brushwork or simply feeling stiff. And stiffness and watercolor just don't work well together. Some days, okay, most days, I'm really impatient and I just want to get straight to the painting, but I try to force myself through at least a quick version of this routine because I know it will save me time and materials in the end. And my paintings will usually be better for it too. So let's talk about how you can design your own daily practice routine. I believe it starts with just asking yourself what your key skills are, the underlying skills that make up most of your work and you know, the aspects of your work that you really want to get good at. Can you divide these skills up into smaller skills and practice them separately? Can you create like simple little drills for yourself, like my video quick sketching drills? What resources can you have on hand to make the routine really easy to go through? For example, you might want to prepare lots of reference photos so you don't have to spend time looking for that, but can just dive straight into practicing. And you might want to keep lots of cheap art supplies on hand that you're not afraid to experiment with or make a mess of. And finally, how much time can you dedicate 
on a daily or, or a weekly basis for improving your art skills. My daily routine usually takes me around one to two hours to get through. Now that might be way too much for you. So design your practice with your time restrictions in mind and keep it really short and simple if that helps you to stick to the routine. I hope you found something to take away from this video and I wish you lots of fun with your own daily art practice. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.